Here we are at a school only for children with special needs. Education for children with special needs has to evolve in India, especially for children with communication difficulties who must learn to learn in a completely different way. It's incredible how technology in the hands of the right innovator can make the task less formidable. The work of Avaz is a perfect example. Every day is a challenge for 19-year-old Tharunika. Cerebral palsy not only makes her movements difficult, but has also affected her communication abilities. Initially, I find it very hard to communicate with her because it was frustrating for both and my, for my child. Because if she wants to communicate with me, I can't understand. Then uh, immediately, then I started with the gestures. She uh, wants to play with them, but because of non-verbality, she doesn't. Uh, he can't com communicate with others and play with others, other children. Inability to voice their thoughts and needs holds back children suffering from autism or cerebral palsy from living a fulfilling life. And it was this belief that inspired Ajit Narayanan and his team at Invention Labs to develop the Avaz app, a picture-based software that is filling a critical gap in the lives of many like Dharunika. Which one? Which one do you want to select? Breakfast or lunch? Lunch. Okay. So were you drawn to children with special needs or were you exposed to them and hence the technology evolved in response to what you observed? You know, how did it come about? Um, on one hand, there was a very strong sense that we wanted to do something that has a high social impact. And there's very little that I've seen that has as much social impact as seeing a child speak for the first time with the device you've created. I consider myself an inventor first. Uh, I love creating things and I, I think there's an incredible joy in seeing something that you've conceptualized actually become a device in front of you. Uh, and in the area of Avaz, I did see a huge potential for technology innovation. So let's get down to basics. For those who have absolutely no idea, what is the Avaz app? This is the Avaz app and you can see that it's on um, an Android tablet. It's available on Android devices and the iPad. Um, the way it works is that it helps children communicate by sequencing pictures together to construct sentences. Mm -hmm. The way the app works is that the child has a number of different options that they can pick from. So there are a number of different words and categories and they would tap different pictures. For example, I'm going to say I want to drink water. So I've selected I want to and then when I scroll I'll see a whole bunch of categories which are relevant to the child. Um, then I would go into eat and then I would say drink. And then if I, if I scroll down further, um, I'd see a whole bunch of uh, things to eat and drink. And I can go there and I can say cold water, for example. So I construct that sentence and then I speak it out. So the idea is that when you do that, um, you're able to um, convert pictures into speech. Building on the success of Avaz, Ajit and his team are now preparing for the next big thing. Free Speech, an app that will allow its user to rebel against rules of grammar and language. What does the Free Speech engine actually do? Can you give us a, a demo? Absolutely. You see that the Free Speech um, app uh, allows you to really construct sentences, not in one word after another, but in a slightly different way. And this is how it works. Uh, I tap here and it gives me a list of words and there are a bunch of words um, covering different aspects of, 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 of vocabulary and language. The thing with free speech is that you can start a sentence from anywhere because different languages have different word orders. I'm going to start with the word think. Think. Um, you can see that when I, when I choose the word think, I can create different forms of it. I can say that it happened in the past or it happened in the future. Um, and then I'm going to say... Who thinks? This is the interesting part. Because as soon as you finish use making, putting one word into free speech, the next word that you create is not the next word in the sentence, but the next word that has a connection with the word that you've already selected. So in this case, for example, you see that it asks you the question, who thinks? And so I tap that. And then I'd be able to select, for example, I think. I think. Um, 
and then it will ask me the next question. What do I think about? So I'm going to say think about you know I, I think that you should stop so I'm going to say stop. I think that to stop. And then uh, it will ask me um, a question about that stop. Stops, do I think? Um, and I'm going to say that you stop. I think that you stop. And then it will ask me the next question. So it says stop what? What do I think that you stop? And then I'm going to stop playing. I think that you stop playing. You uh -huh. see that at every stage it, it prompts you to mm -hmm. construct the next part of the sentence. I think that's what we've done in the free speech engine. It's a mathematical model of the grammar of the English language. Back at the Spastic Society of India School in Chennai, where Avaaz is used, hopes are pinned on new technologies like free speech. Initial process would be he may be just playing around, understanding what it really means, and if he knows what it can do for him, you got a break. And then it is for the teacher to structure based on his communication needs and his language needs, all of which would be determined by his cognitive um, level and to what extent he can imbibe the information. This show, as you know, is called uh, The Power of Shunya, Quest for Zero. Do you think that uh, both the Avaaz app and the Avaaz free speech engine can achieve zero language barriers as a notion, as a concept? Absolutely. Uh, I think communication is a fundamental right of every human being. And just because you can't express something, either because you don't have the ability to do it physically or because you don't have the language to speak it, it doesn't mean that you have nothing to say. I, I think, you know, achieving zero communication barriers because of language, because of disability, that's a vision that I have and those are the kinds of products that I'm trying to build. Avaaz, an app that allows children to talk, to communicate, to learn. Today you've also seen a school in the cloud, run by a granny in the cloud, a classroom that breaks national and geographical barriers. Both these innovations make us feel that the possibilities are endless. But are they really? Once again, let's ask Aditya Natraj, director at the Kevalya Education Foundation. Aditya, today we've seen two innovations on the show. One which is a school in the cloud, the other which is the Avaaz app and the Avaaz free speech engine for children with special needs that helps them communicate. What do you make of both these innovations? I'm very excited about both innovations. Uh, I think leveraging technology blended with the traditional brick and mortar model is really going to be the future in this country. It's going to be, you know, when we started off with a walking stick to give to, ch to people, we don't look at that as technology. When we put on a light bulb so that children can study late, we don't look at that as technology. So I don't think this is highly revolutionary or something. It is just an integral part of children's lives. Uh, it is going to be so ubiquitous in, in 10, 20 years from now. It's interesting that you don't see it as radical because as an uh, education outsider, I would have said it's radical. But you actually see it as complementary to the current bricks and mortar traditional classroom that we're all familiar with. Absolutely. I don't think it's just complementary. I think it's necessary. There is no way we can solve this problem. There are certain things that a teacher can do. For example, I could teach you math. When you have an emotional problem, I can solve it. But I'm not going to know about an unusual thing. I'm not going to be a repository of all the world's knowledge. I, as an individual, I'm very curious. As a child, I'm curious about horses. Is the teacher going to know everything about horses and be able to answer the question? I can't limit my knowledge just to the textbook. This knowledge is available. So I think technology is going to help us access that. And especially in special needs as well, the teacher is not going to be able to deal with every individual child and give her the sort of attention. The Avaaz app helps me mediate by myself. The teacher is not going to be available all the time. The Avaaz app makes it possible for me to go to a supermarket not able to express myself, I could show it on the app and show it to a supermarket saying, I want to buy a toothbrush. So this is, technology is going to be an extremely integral part of our lives. Flesh out that thought in greater detail on why you consider the Avaaz app as a huge step forward for children with special needs that are challenged in communicating. So the device serves multiple purposes for children with autism um, or children with cerebral palsy because their uh, ability to express themselves vocally is limited. 
however their ability to recognize pictures are very intelligent in various ways and in order for them to be meaningful participants in society unfortunately communication is extremely critical to just do your daily chores uh, you know to be able to go to the supermarket buy stuff to be able to go to a cinema theater to be able to interact with friends everything requires communication our whole society is based on being able to communicate your needs negotiate your needs with someone else and ava seems to make that very easy simple and plausible it has a whole repository of over 5000 words it it slowly learns it has different languages in which it can be offered so there's a whole set of things which it's complementing the individual and i think that is so critical i mean when you put on a hearing aid you no longer look at it as technology you just think of it as normal the avaz app is going to be the hearing aid for autism children aditya nachar thanks very much for your insights on the part of shunya quest for zero it's been a pleasure having you on the show thank you very much man access to quality education one of india's biggest challenges but today we've seen two innovations that boost access one for regular kids and another for those with special needs well that's it on this edition of dupont presents the part of shunya quest for zero a show that celebrates science and innovation technologies that could secure our future human ingenuity that could reduce our challenges to zero till next week then goodbye